Welcome to Geo Vlog 101. So today's video, we are going to learn what is fault and how does civil engineering is important in Geo. So what is fault? So fault is a fracture of zones between two blocks of rocks. Faults allow the blocks to move relative to each other. These movements may occur rapidly in a form of earthquakes. So now, we're going to discuss how does faults affect the structures of made by civil engineering. So today, we will learn more. So this is the example of what faults is. So that's blue lines that cracks are called the, the discussion. Faulted errors are neither safe nor stable for the foundation works because of the various harmful effects produced by falls. So falls cause considerable fracturing and shattering of rocks along false zones. This means that are not compact or massive or strong. Just places are reduced to physical very weak grounds and hence unfit as foundation site. For when standing heavy loads of structures like them. So, civil engineering will study the, the, the land first before they decide to build big, big structure or a, a dam, a hill, uh, highways, or a tower. So, we really need to study those um, standard of uh, land. So, if the land is has a fault line, so you need to... Also, when such fracture zone gets saturated with water, their strength comes down further. The same fracture acts as channel ways for movements of groundwater. This may cause severe groundwater problems in case of tunnels, leakage problems in case of reservoir. So in this video, we will learn about tunnels, reservoir later on. The most dangerous feature is it is possible to reoccurrence at the same place. This means that the fault ground are unstable as long as faulting remain active there. Generally, faults are accompanied by earthquakes. Earthquake cause severe shaking of the ground water. Shocking may cause collapse of civil engineering structures. Also, the fault plane itself is a very proponent fracture plane in the false zone and therefore may act as a severe source of leakage of water such withering further reduce the competence of the rock. Faults influence the movement of surface water also. In some cases where the deep direction of the fault plane and the surface slope occur in the same direction, landslide may occur. Like I've said, if um, the surface of the mountain or part of like in Bangkal, there is a um, fault lines there that if every um, experience rain, um, they experience landslide because of the fault lines there and the continuing rain. So... You can see in this picture that this picture has a damage because of the location of dumps. A dome which is entirely a multi-million project cannot be allowed to rest over an active fault irrespective of its deep direction under any circumstances. However, if the faults are dead and if it becomes unavoidable to locate, the dam in our fault region only, then adequate precaution have to be taken in improving the competence of its site by giving proper treatment to it. So we really need to study the location of the the project because it is it is million project and we cannot just um give up of it. So you can see with the picture, it's damaged. In such cases, to avoid the problem, the fault zone 
should be covered or treated the problem or the fault zone. So that is so next is the location of tunnels. Knowledge of the effects of fault makes it very clear that a tunnel alignment should not come in the way of faults, particularly active ones. Otherwise, the possible consequences being heavenly structure fault zones will be incompetent to provide safety of tunnels. Severe groundwater problems are likely to occur. The risk of displacement of the ground as a result of renewed faulting exists. However, if the faults are not active and if they are minor, they may be treated properly to make tunnel structures safe when they pass through them. So like in this picture, we can see the damage to because of the faults that made it. Laying of roads in railway tracks along hill slopes. In a way, faults are similar to bending planes as far as their bearing on the slope stability is concerned. But faults need more careful attention because any renewed faulting will trigger off landslides. Which means an additional problem for the safety of civil engineering works. Saturation of the adversely placed fault zone with water increases the risk of landslide occurrence, hence laying of roads of railways along faulted hills should be considered carefully and undertaken with necessary precaution. Lastly is the groundwater occurrence. By virtue of intense fracture associated with faults, they significantly improve the ground water potential. This is because these structures not only provide space for storing ground water but also help in the movement of such water. This fact is particularly important in hard rock areas because in such place ground water potentially depends on the thickness of the water zone and structural weak planes like joints and faults. Faults and joints, since they extend up to considerable depth, can contribute significantly in improving groundwater, potentially in hard work areas such sheet of joints which may occur at a deep area of special groundwater important in such place. So that will be all for today's video. So I hope you learned something in my Geovlog 101. See you! Bye-bye.